We know our first guest from the very popular Scream movies. He's also producing a documentary. It's called The Survivor's Guide to Prison. Good morning, inmates. <laughs> Please give it up for David Arquette. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Good to see you, honey. Oh, thank you. Today. I, I, I just, like, like mad. I'm glad. <laughs> it's so wonderful. Do you know her? Who, who, who exactly? Roseanne. Oh, no, no. Do, do you? But you, I mean, I've met her. I've met her. My sister Alexis knew her. But you can blame it on the uh, 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 ambient. <laughs> right? All right. I, look, he's fidgeting because he's waiting for his I'm shoe camp. I'm always fidgeting. No, you're waiting for your shoe oh, camp yeah. moment. And there you are. I did it special. I really, I wore those for you. <laughs> Boom. I took it to the next level. So the last time you were here, you were single. <laughs> yes, I was, I was. And so now, two years later, yes. married, two kids. Yes, thank Good you. Thank you. Yeah, I have two new little ones, a one-year-old and a four-year-old, Charlie and Gus, and Coco's 14 now. Wow. How's that working for you? It's amazing, but the, oh, the 14-year-old, oh. There's a lot of emotions, but she's incredible. She's just, yeah. she's, you really just look for someone to have a sweetheart, and she does have that. Do you and Courtney live near each other so that Coco can say, Dad, I'm not talking to you, I'm going to Mom's. <laughs> do you live near each other? Yeah, we do, we do. Yeah. But she it's all, you have to like, you know, it's teamwork. You gotta yeah. stay together. The parent, parenting thing, even when you're not in the same house, is constant. Let's get a plan down. Yes, yes. <laughs> you got to have a plan. Uh, now, how do Courtney and, um, and Coco get along? They get along great. I mean, there's always, like, there's a lot of emotions. And yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of emotions. I hear all these stories about <laughs> teenage, uh, teenage daughters and stuff. And yeah. Eesh. I know. It's tough. I mean, it's adolescence. And they literally have to push their mothers away so they can become you know, independent themselves. So that, that's you a struggle. You look good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I just, I just started working out. Really? Yes, I, I, got, I got pretty out of shape there for a second. <laughs> but uh, I just started working out because I have a really big announcement to make and I'd like to make it here on the Wendy Williams show. Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. I'd like to announce my return to professional wrestling. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! And you think, well, up oh, there I am. This is a gimmick I'm trying out, David Magic Man Arquette. <laughs> Wait, David. Yes. Return to. Yes, what, I know. What, you what know. were you involved with wrestling? <laughs> yeah. Well, 18 years ago, I won the WCW Heavyweight Championship belt, and everyone freaked out. I was, uh, I was, I was promoting a, show, a movie I did called Ready to Rumble, and it just happened that I won the championship, but for 18 years, I've been trolled on the internet, and people have attacked me, and I just want to bring some what, respect true wrestling, back to my true, name. True wrestling fans who are like, you yeah. know, you're an actor, you're oh, not a wrestler. Worst. Yeah, they sort of help blame me on partially ruining WCW, it's no longer <laughs> around, and maybe I did have something to do with it. But here's the thing, 18 years ago, you were younger, now you're 46, you got gray hair, you got kids <laughs> to take care of. I know. I know, but I've been working out, I've been training, I've got a But you're still amazing... 46. I know. <laughs> I'm just I know. saying, David. I know. There, that's my, that's Regan Machado, a, a jiu-jitsu champion that I'm training with. Okay. Amazing guy. Ricky Quills, another boxing coach, champion I'm training with. So I'm, uh, I'm doing the, uh, oh, and, and Paul Avalon, a, a wrestling uh, coach I'm training with. So. I'm doing the right work. I mean, I'm starting to get in shape. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but, but it's fun. For all the partying that you've done, though, and I'm, so, I'm sorry, no, no. Everybody, no, everybody, no, it's everybody, true. everybody it's relax, true. everybody relax. Yeah. You know the legend of David Arquette. <laughs> but for all the partying that you've done in your lifetime, yes. I am shocked, like, you, you don't look weathered and you got all your hair, you, know you know what I mean? Well, I mean, I don't know. Good I jeans. sort of have gone on and off. Like, I don't know. I've had a silly relationship with the stuff, sort of drinking and all that. That's, yeah. You know, but uh, the good thing about you know getting in shape is that all you have to put all that aside. There's no extra calories for anything. 
gotta keep your mind focused. Yeah. No weed or anything. So, so. <laughs> So how are your sisters? My sisters are really great. They're Good. amazing. And my brother, Richmond. Is and a... your brother, Richmond. Yes, he's what, incredible. What does he do? Is he, is he's he... an actor as well and a writer. He's an amazing writer. Yeah. Now, one of your sisters uh, was actually one of the first people to speak out. Harvey yeah. Weinstein, Rosanna. Yeah. Was one of the first people to speak out about this Harvey Weinstein situation. She sure was. She's my hero. She's really, yeah. She's always been outspoken and she's always been Stood up for, you know, herself and and the underdog. So yeah, I wasn't surprised when she was really vocal about it. Had she shared this with you guys? Like when you sit around as siblings, you know, like disgusting. Sort of, you know, it was always kind of like, ugh, he's a perv kind of thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. People sort of knew stuff like that. But yeah, I know it's a new day and age, and I'm glad things are coming into the light. Yes. And people are talking yes. about this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever been to prison? What qualifies you uh, to uh, talk about uh, uh, prison? Uh, well, I did teach a, a acting course at San Quentin for a couple of days. Oh. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was an interesting experience. But really, uh, I'm friends with Matthew Cook, an amazing filmmaker. Uh, he was uh, Oscar nominated for Deliver Us From Evil, and he directed this. He's a friend of ours, and he just, he brought together academics, uh, you know, uh, uh, reporters, uh, all these people who, who are, are, you know, specialists in this, and I'm not. It, it's it's <laughs> I'm a documentary, not everybody. But it's an incredible documentary. And some of the people that we know who've done a little bit of prison time. Yeah. Um, like, what was it, Busta Rhyme? No, uh, no, no, Busta no, Rhyme has no. a friend in prison, but Danny Trejo, years and years ago, <laughs> was in prison. But his, he's, he's got, everyone's got somebody that they know that's in prison, yeah. either wrongly or rightly. But it's just a look at the prison system. It's a failed model. 80% mm -hmm. of the people that go to California State Prison return within five years. So if, if those were the odds with you buying a new phone, it only works 20% of the time or taking an airplane, we wouldn't use that phone or yeah. fly an airplane. So it's a broken the model, broken. and we need to sort of focus on it. So it gives you some uh, pointers if you are going to prison, and it gives you... <laughs> hey, you have more of a chance of being arrested here in America than anywhere else in the world. We lock up... Uh, uh, oh, I, I, I want to get my statistics wrong. But, uh, you one, are one a third, fidgeter. I am a fidgeter. One third of the women's population in the world in prison is in America. Wow. Yeah. All right, so this is something that we need to check out then. Be yeah. sure that you watch How to Survive Prison. It's streaming right now on Netflix.